today I'm gonna to show you how to cold smoke my top four favorite things for cold smoking using a pellet tube smoker. Hey, I'm James from Smoking Dad Barbecue, and today is all about cold smoking. Now this is not something that you can normally do easily on a Kamado style cooker, because in order to get great smoke taste, you need clean combustion. You get clean combustion using charcoal or to get some wood smoking, and you typically get more heat than what you want. So to help overcome that problem, we're not gonna use normal charcoal at all. We're going to be using a pellet tube smoker and keep those temperatures well below uh, 100, 150 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't even think we're going to see that. So let me bring the camera a little bit closer and I'll show you how to set up for today's cook, as well as introduce you to the four recipes that we're gonna be doing at the same time on the Big Joe. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is load up our pellet tube smoker. This is a six inch one. This will be good for at least two or three hours of smoke. If you get a 12 inch one, you about double that for, uh, you know, four or five, six hours of smoke. So let's go ahead and load up. I'm using some oak based with peach wood for smoke. I like that light, nice, mild fruit wood and it gives great smoke on a whole bunch of different recipes. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and fill this up to the top, just like that. Open up our Big Joe, which I've already removed uh, the grates and cooking grids. We're gonna put the heat deflectors in just again, make sure there's no heat. Even though this is a small fire, it's still going to be putting off some BTU. And to light this, I've cleared an area in the center. We're just gonna go ahead and stand that up, light it, let it burn for a minute or two, and then we're gonna go ahead and blow that fire out, and it'll just continue to smoke. So let's go ahead and light that up. Okay, so now that this has had a couple of minutes to burn, that's gonna ensure that it continues to burn down the pellet tube, and we won't have any fire going out. We're gonna go ahead and just blow this fire out. It'll start smoking, as well as installing our heat deflector plates on our Big Joe. Okay, so as you can see, I installed the X accessory ring on the second tier of the divide and conquer. That's just so there's a bit larger of an air gap so that that smoke has room to go and come up around these deflector plates without accidentally putting our fire out. Let's go ahead and push these together and then we'll install our grids. Okay, so now that we got our grids in, let me tell you about the four things that we're going to smoke today and why I think they're awesome for cold smoking. So the first one is gonna be a little bit unconventional. We're going to cold smoke some water. Yep, that's right, some water, because this can make some amazing ice cubes. So if you wanna add this to your drink and control the smoky level, a smoked ice cube is one of the best ways to do that. And if it's getting too smoky, the only solution is to drink quicker and you'll be fine. Either that or for other reasons. The second thing that we're going to uh, cold smoke, sticking with the drinking theme, is some bourbon. Now, don't go get your most expensive favorite bottle for this. Where you're actually gonna notice an appreciable difference is in that value range. So find your favorite value bottle of bourbon. And this is just gonna up that to that next level where you start thinking, you know, you're noticing flavor profiles that compete with bottles, sometimes 50% double the price of um, the bottle that we're cold smoking. So that's the second thing that we're gonna to do today. The third recipe that I'm gonna show you how to do is some cold smoked nuts. And so we're gonna do some almonds today. I've got a little bit of butter melted and we're just gonna drizzle that over top as well as add some spicy rub. You can use any one you like. Today I'm gonna to be using Slap Your Mama just because that uh, is aptly named. It really will wake up your taste buds. I think it's gonna be fantastic. And last but not least, it wouldn't be a cold smoking video without doing some cheddar cheese. You can smoke lots of different cheeses, whether it's a Gouda or a mozzarella, um, but today we're going for an aged cheddar. So let me bring you a little bit closer. I'll show you how we're gonna set up on the Big Joe, as well as walk through some of the different timings for each of our ingredients. Okay, so I'm just gonna be using a couple foil pans for our cold smoke. So what I'm gonna do, just get our water here, 
pour that in. Fantastic. And I'll slide this under our grid expander. This is the classic Joe grid expander. The, I have the big Joe, it's just in the garage. This is quicker and we don't need that much extra space in case you're wondering. Give us our second level. The next foil pan is going to be our bourbon. And I'll put links down below for everything, but I'll show you these now in case I forget later. This is going to be what we later seal up and we're going to pour our smoked water in to make our smoked ice cubes. So let's go ahead and add our bourbon. We're gonna use Maker's Mark today. So save the bottle. We're going to funnel this back into the bottle later on. So next we're going to do our nuts. So I've just got a tray here. Go ahead and add some butter. As well, some of our Slap Your Mama hot rub. And I'm just gonna mix these together. And last but not least, we're going to add our cheddar cheese. Make sure our bottom vent down below is open. And then we'll go ahead and close this and make sure our top vent is also open. Okay, so now that we've got everything on our grill, let's do a quick recap of the different timings and what you may want to do or not do in some cases for the smoke session. So the water and the bourbon both work a similar way here, which is if you stir them or go too long, they can cross a line where that smoke becomes too much. So if this is your first time doing it, I recommend not stirring and only going about 30 to 45 minutes. The bourbon we're gonna put back in the bottle and if you can wait, uh, at least a day makes a big difference in terms of the flavor just really uh, being accepted and melding with the, uh, the rest of the, your bourbon bottle. Same for the ice, naturally put it in the fridge, wait till the next day, then you're good to go. The nuts out of this, uh, you know, four recipes that we're doing is the only one that you can dig into same day if you're so inclined. And the cheese has the longest timetable. This one actually uh, is better if you wrap it in saran wrap once we're done the cold smoking and put it in the fridge for about three days. And that is worth its weight in gold as that smoke just really seems to get concentrated and distribute itself more evenly throughout the cheese. And it tastes much, much better three days on than it does if you cut into it right away. So that's it, so that's our game plan. We're gonna let the two liquids go 30, 45 minutes, pull them off, and then I'm gonna let the uh, cheese and the almonds go the entire duration of our smoke tube. So I'll rejoin you in a little bit when it's time to start pulling things off. Okay, so I don't know if you can tell, but our temp gauge has not moved and I've just recently recalibrated this like to do that spring and fall. I, I just did a video on how to do that. If you haven't checked yours, I'll put a link down to that as well so you can uh, find that video. Let's go ahead and remove our water and our bourbon. And we're gonna let the nuts and the cheese smoke a little bit longer. So first up, I'm going to do the bourbon because I've dried out our pitcher here. And so just go ahead and carefully get this going. Awesome. And I'm just using this because anything with a little bit of a lip makes it easier to pour into the bottle. Okay, so we're gonna seal this up and again, let that sit overnight. And so the game plan here with the water is we will just assemble our cubes. Do this over the sink is a little bit easier, but we'll just fill those up I can pour any water that I drop back in. You just fill it up to the lines and go ahead and put that in the freezer. So I get this out of the way, close it back up, and we're gonna let the cheese and the almonds continue to smoke till we're out of smoke. Okay, that is it for our video today. We've got everything off. It's gonna sit overnight. And since we're not eating anything right away, we're gonna wait up to three days for the cheese. There's not really a taste test, but I do hope you give this method of cold smoking 
in your Komodo Joe a try. It is such a treat. I don't remember the price of the pellet tube smoker, but it's, I think, around $10. I'll definitely have it on my holiday gift buying guide that I'll be releasing in a week's time for that barbecue fanatic in your life or yourself if you're watching this and you want to go ahead and look for deals on uh, Black Friday or anything like that. Anyways, I'm James from Soaking Dead Barbecue signing off. And before you go, please let YouTube know you like this video by smashing the like button and hit subscribe to catch future videos. Until then, don't be afraid to fire it up.